What a year it has been for Damon Hetter. A World Cup winner alongside Simon Whitlock, topping the Pro Tour order of merit after 30 floor events, two players' championship titles, a maiden Euro Tour trophy in Gibraltar. And yet, such is the outrageous talent of the man, it still feels like a slightly disappointing campaign. A good friend of doubles and trebles, it's been great to see the Heat enjoy those aforementioned successes, as we know only too well just how good he is. But a failure to replicate such form in the majors will have definitely frustrated him. Since a run to the UK Open quarterfinals earlier in the year, he's exited at the first hurdle of the last five Premier TV events and finds himself with questions to answer heading into Ali Pali in terms of his big stage bottle. In my mind, there's no doubt he will answer those questions in 2023. He's simply too good not to. However, being ranked in the middle section of that top 32 means Hetta faces a tricky path. He'll meet a fellow top talent in round three in the form of Joe Cullen, should things go to plan. Before that, though, his opening match looks likely to come against two-time world champion and a somewhat resurgent Adrian Lewis. It's a nightmare draw for someone who's struggling on the TV stage, given Lewis's popularity, promising form and his tendency to save his best for the big occasion. On the flip side, if Damo can go out and beat Jackpot, it should stand him in lovely stead for the rest of the tournament. And it will be brilliant to see him show the world just how good he really is with a deep, deep run here. With a good start, he's one of the most interesting contenders in the field and his raw ability is far superior to quarts of a 66-1 to one shot. 